staring down the barrel of another desperate day pulls on his boots he can't walk away he's running on empty he's knocked about and bent but he'll still be standing when the river runs again is the spirit in the rock or pass the hat around is it freedom on the wallaby or a dusty patch of ground is it a wall sing matilda or a hand upon your shoulder is this the spirit of the bush she stares at him Cupboards, just like the day before It's been so long And she can't take it anymore When she digs a little deeper And somehow finds the strength She keeps believing There'll be better days ahead Here's the spirit in the rock Walk past the hat around it freedom on the wallaby or a dusty patch of ground? Is it a wall, sing Matilda, or a hand upon your shoulder? Is this the spirit of the bull? Was it there when young Ned Kelly? Stood up for those oppressed. Or when the brave young Anzacs put their courage to the test. Or is it out there with the battler when he gives it one last try? It's through the darkest moments you see the spirit shine. Is the spirit in the rock or pass the hat around? Is it freedom or is it a wall, sing Matilda, or a hand upon your shoulder? Is this the spirit of the boy? Is the spirit in the rock, or pass the hat around? Is it freedom on the wallaby, or a dusty patch of ground? Is it a wall, sing Matilda, or a is this the spirit of the bush? We, we actually suffered through two floods. We had one in October, which is sort of the start of things, and, and we were really wet when it came January, when we got hit really hard. And in total, we had a loss of 17 head, which we had to have half of those put down. And um, yeah, it, it's been a struggle to get back up on our feet. The impact that it had was the loss of production. We went from sending 90,000 litres of milk a month down to 45,000. I think if you spoke to any dairy farmer at this stage, they're finding it hard to pay for employment. And, and while the big company chains, um, they drop the milk to get the people into the stores, but at what cost do they, want it, do they not want farmers? 
I think our life change was that on Australia Day. <laughs> now I'll get upset. <laughs> George turned up and he said, oh, he was from Aussie Helpers and he had a, a load of hay for us. <laughs> and we thought he was joking, but yeah, so. And um, yeah, our boundary fences, uh, they've um, helped us put the boundary fences up and yeah, just, just helped with um, everything. <laughs> when you're faced with those situations, I think it's the adrenaline that keeps you going and I have struggled with it more in the last couple of months because there's things now that need to still be fixed and, and a timeline as to when we will get back to where we were, how long's a piece of string. But in, in this past year, Aussie Helpers have been a tremendous support for us since the flood. George sent us the supplies of food for ourselves and, and little hampers. They turned up here on um, Mother's Day with a, a little bit of a gift and that for mum, so yeah, just those little things, they probably don't realise how much appreciated it, that it is. And also they've helped us out with, with bringing out volunteers to help with fencing and and just general clean up. So yeah, if, if, if there's a, um, <clears throat> if there's somewhere where you want to give money to, give it to Aussie Helpers, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Aussie Helpers is a grassroots charity that delivers face-to-face -face help to families and communities in regional Australia who are doing it tough. In times of drought, bushfire or flood, Aussie Helpers are committed to providing assistance to those in need. Check out the Aussie Helpers website to find out more. It's all about the spirit of the bush. Aussie Helpers and Wind Television working with you to lend a hand where it's needed most.